Look, obviously, you know, why I'm, uh, why I'm standing up here, I am retiring from the South Oval Club. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty difficult decision. I've been thinking about it for a, a long time. Um, but I think no on the Cotton was probably last week when John had put something up on Facebook and it was sort of, you know, the big announcement had come and then obviously Krabby announced it at the time and everyone after said, I thought it was going to be you. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah, look, as I said, very, very tricky decision. Um, I've been here for 10 years. Um, I absolutely love the footy club, but I just said to Buffer that I don't feel I can give you boys and the club um, what you guys deserve um, in terms of training and things like that. So, um, yeah, look, I, I firstly obviously want to thank the coaches and the coaching staff for all that you guys have done for me over the over the journey and both of them at home, um, both personally and um, on field, um, all the support staff, um, trainers, Dougie, Marky, all the boys that have uh, been there the whole way through since I've been here. Um, I thank you guys very much. Uh, I don't know how else I'm forgetting except obviously you guys. Um, I've really got, I've really enjoyed getting to know a lot of the younger boys that have come up this year and last year. You guys are um, a really close bunch, and I think that uh, if you guys can all stick together and um, have that camaraderie that you've got and sort of play, you know, 50, 60 games together, there's no reason why you guys can't be the first if it's not this year, which it probably will be. But if it's not this year, that you guys can go and win the flag for this football club that the club so much deserves. And, Unless it happens this year, which I'm still feeling is crossed at will, but it might not happen in more time. So, um, yeah, obviously let's uh, let's just try and go out there this weekend and uh, do our job and see if uh, results can fall our way and we can try and finish off and, and win a grand final because that's what's about. Yeah. So again, I'll probably have a bit of a chance to thank everyone more um, on that cup night. But yeah, just want to let everyone know that uh, I'm pulling the pin and um, thank you guys for everything. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, to, to celebrate Crab Week in our this week, um, you know, we, we need to really make sure that we, we come together tonight, Thursday night and Saturday um, to really make sure that, A, we give ourselves the best opportunity to, to, to continue the season, but to make sure we send those boys off in the right manner. I mean, just a little bit of history on Lids. Um, just an outstanding servant of this football club. Um, it's going to probably finish on no less than 190 games, hopefully 194 and a premiership player, but five lucky cups. Um, I think it's third or fourth on the all-time list of, of the football club in regards to being S1. Uh, Sheeman medal, which is um, best player in the competition voted by the <coughs> coaches. It's been top five with McGarry, I think four or five occasions, coming second, third and fourth. Um, he played three years in the VFL for Coburg and won a Coburg Best and Ferris as well. So that's six Best and Ferris over two clubs in 11, 12, 13 years of football. Um, three state games to South Australia. Probably should have been a few more. Um, and could have been um, one more this year, but again, just decided not to play um, to make sure he can give as much to this football program as possible. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a uh, a sad day, but uh, also a celebration day and a celebration week with you know two club stalwarts and legends, um, you know, hanging up the boots. So, just yet yeah, another round of applause for the leads.